Hello, I'm Dr. Anthony Dellinger, president of Kepley Biosystems. We've been working hard to develop the world's first fully synthetic and sustainable crustacean bait. We believe such a product will solve several issues in many different industries, but none more so important than a large problem facing a small fish. Small schooling fish, often called forage fish, are the dietary staple of all of the marine species. However, due to mounting industrial demand, humans are also competing for these tiny nutritional dynamos now more than ever. In fact, 40% of the world's capture is forage fish. That's over 35 million tons per year. And demand is increasing exponentially, with these fish proving invaluable to growing markets, such as aquaculture, agriculture, pet food, and human consumption. They are also used as bait, particularly for crustaceans. 18 million tons of forage fish are used merely as bait in crustacean traps. But it is here that we can make a major difference. Organobait is the National Science Foundation funded technology from Kepley Biosystems that can replace the need for forage fish to be used as bait in crab and lobster traps. It will reduce the strain on forage fish stocks while offering several benefits to the fishing industry. Working in a state-of-the-art facility, we have discovered the exact compounds given off by bait fish. Using synthetic and readily available alternatives, our patent-pending attractants can precisely mimic the cues that would lure a crustacean to a trap. But in an easy-to-use organobait tablet that can be customized to suit the needs of crab and lobster industries globally. Organobait saves both time and money because it requires no refrigeration or upkeep like traditional bait. It has no expiration date and requires no preparation. Crustacean fishers can simply load the bait into traps as they always have with no need to change their current methodologies. We're extremely proud of the work we've done on Organobait. We believe such a product will not only relieve the pressures being placed on marine ecosystems today, but will provide a solution for the fishing industry, one that is cost effective and always available. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Dellinger, President of the Horseshoe Crab Ranch and Blood Institute. What if I told you that global health and wellness relied on the blue blood of a prehistoric creature? The horseshoe crab circulating blue blood contains an exceptionally unique cell, the amoebocyte. The Limulus amoebocyte lysate, or LAL test, is the only FDA-approved method to ensure drugs, vaccines, cosmetics, and medical devices are free of bacterial toxins like E. coli and salmonella, which can cause fever, sepsis, and even death. The LAL assay safeguards the manufacturing of all biologics, implants, and injectables. An enormous amount of LAL is required to sustain global safety demands. A liter of LAL sells for $15,000. That's over $75 a teaspoon. Currently, when LAL is collected, horseshoe crabs are plucked from the water and transported like cargo to a facility that drains up to a third of their blood. Upon return to the ocean, this process will claim the lives of 26% of these crabs. As populations dwindle from years of exploitation and negligence, the world must transition to new, thoughtful, scientific methodologies to ensure species preservation. The horseshoe crabs are asking for our help, and at HCRBI, we have a better way. Using free-range aquaculture, we can create a habitat conducive to these creatures' well-being. By utilizing well-established transfusion methods and employing state-of-the-art tracking and record-keeping, we can ultimately improve blood collection, eliminate horseshoe crab mortality, and increase LAL yields to meet mounting demand.